Cardiac 2 Case Study. This week, the client is a 60-year-old male who was admitted to the hospital. He's overweight and reported shortness of breath for two weeks. That was worsening on the day of admission. He also reported orthopnea, fatigue, and leg swelling up to his thigh. He was admitted to the hospital for the same problem last year. The client was diagnosed with heart failure three years ago and hypertension five years ago. He has no known allergies. His family history revealed that his father had died of ischemic heart disease four years ago, and his brother has hypertension. As for his social history, he smokes two to three cigarettes a day for 35 years and drinks alcohol on an occasional basis. On examination, he was found to be alert and oriented, but he has pedal edema up to his knees. The client also has bibasal or crackles to bilateral lungs, and his temperature was normal. Blood pressure was 159 over 100. He has an irregular heart rate at 80 beats per minute. So what are the pertinent cues for this particular client? Well, these are the ones that I pulled out. He's short of air. He has orthopnea. He has fatigue, edema, a history of heart failure, a history of hypertension, and his blood pressure is elevated, a family history of heart disease, that history of smoking, by basal or crackles, in other words, crackles in both of the bases of the lungs and an irregular heart rate. So what could be causing these potential issues? The shortness of air. Let's look at that. Well, respiratory illness and infection. Being overweight. Congestive heart failure, hypoxia, fluid volume overload. What could cause the orthopnea? Congestive heart failure could do that, as could respiratory illnesses or infection, and fatigue. That could be caused by insomnia, just not getting enough sleep. That sedentary lifestyle where you sit around all the time and you don't use those muscles. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Poor nutrition, not getting the appropriate nutrients in. And cardiac respiratory illness or infection. Edema. Well, this could be caused by that high sodium diet because Water follows sodium. Peripheral venous disease. You know, we don't have good circulation, so we're not getting the blood back to the heart to be able to begin filtering out that extra fluid. Congestive heart failure. With the history of heart failure, implications of that would include the disease just doesn't go away. You know, just because you treat it doesn't mean that it's no longer there. The history of hypertension and that elevated blood pressure. Well, this can be caused by being overweight, being on that high fat, high sodium diet, different medications, cardiac disease. And the family history of heart disease implications. This client is at an increased risk of heart disease. The history of smoking implications. Well, now this client also has an increased risk of lung cancer, cardiac or respiratory illnesses, and they're more susceptible to respiratory infections. The bibasal or crackles. 
This could be caused by fluid volume overload. It could also be caused by a respiratory illness or infection. And that irregular heart rate, potential cardiac disease, shock. And what do we do about all of this? Well, let's put some oxygen on. Encourage rest. Elevate the head of the bed. Give those bronchodilators. With orthopnea, <coughs> excuse me, let's elevate the head of the bed. And consider a sleep study. Maybe there's something more going on that causes them to not be able to breathe well when they're lying down at night. Put oxygen on. For fatigue, let's increase the rest, but let's balance it with exercise. We need to make sure they're getting enough physical exercise, but we don't want to overtire them to make them more fatigued. Make sure they're getting proper nutrition. And let's potentially do some checking to see if they have another illness or infection so we can provide appropriate treatment. For edema, we need to elevate those extremities. When we elevate, it helps gravity pull that fluid back down. Maybe some diuretics to pull some of that extra fluid off. Compression is one of the significant treatments for peripheral edema. Low sodium diet. Once again, sodium or water follows sodium. So if we decrease the sodium, hopefully we're decreasing the amount of fluid retention. The history of heart failure. We need to educate this client on symptoms to monitor for and how to prevent exacerbations. The history of hypertension and the elevated blood pressure, we need to potentially be giving antihypertensives. And once we start giving those, it is often for long term or could be lifelong. Encourage weight loss. Encourage that low fat, low sodium diet. Give some diuretics. And encourage exercise. With the family history of heart disease, educate this client on symptoms to monitor for or how to prevent exacerbations of potential heart issues. With smoking, we always want to encourage smoking cessation. By basal or crackles, you know, give some oxygen, rest. Elevate the head, those bronchodilators or diuretics. And the irregular heart rate, we may need to put them on some medications called antiarrhythmics, some diuretics. Let's get some of that fluid off. It may straighten that heart rate out. We definitely want to monitor the heart, put them on a monitor or telemetry, and correct the cause.